Sorry, but that is just bike porn. Absolute gorgeous. Right, so welcome back to the channel, everybody. You'll be wondering why on a bike channel we're in my Tesla today. Uh, well, actually, the answer for that is that we're actually going down to the NEC. Me and my pal John, say hello, John. Hi, everybody. Really Hi. looking forward to what today may be. Yeah, we're going down there to the um, Motorbike Live show. It's a Thursday, and uh, just thought we'd have a couple of minutes now before we get down there. I hope to bring uh, a video of some of the bikes we like and we see, and uh, we'll maybe have a little little chat on the way home back up the M6 tonight. But I think why I'm going down today is literally I'm looking for a bit of inspiration. And for those who have been following me on the channel, you'll know that over the last couple of months, I've really been contemplating what bike to get next. I'm looking for a bike to replace my uh, 1290 KTM the GT. Love it. Had it over three years. It's out of warranty. I, I'm really torn as to what to do. I'm, I'm torn as to am I doing the right thing to get rid? What should I get in replacement of it? Anyway, I'm really struggling. And as you know, I've been looking at the Ducati Multistrada V4S. I'm also today going to have a look at the Kawasaki stand and have a look at the um, the, the what's the supercharged um, H2 SX SE 197 brake horsepower super sports tourer bike. But yeah, I'm just looking for inspiration today with me and John. So uh, what are you looking for, John? Um, I've been KTM now since 2015, and I think I'm on my fifth um, 1190 1290. Um, the adventure I'm, on, isn't it? I'm on I'm on the adventure yeah and this time I, I went from a 21 to a 23 plate uh, adventure but to make it a bit different I wrapped it as a as a Red Bull um, that's extra horsepower that John yeah it? It, it makes it a bit more slippy and a bit quicker um, I've just finally uh, got over to the uh, road six tires which it's like having a new bike again um, so I love that but I'm still loyal to KTM still love it I got this one that's got a four-year warranty as opposed to the two uh, but principally uh, that in 20 in the 2024 25 I understand there's a new 1390 come coming out yeah. and that was the reason why I did it but this fella here he's actually swayed me over to start considering Ducati I had a, a 999 Ducati some years ago and enjoyed that um, obviously the problem with servicing and the like but they see the Ducati seems to have ironed all that out but back onto the KTM though John that that was my plan for next year wait for the Gen 3 yeah. GT to come out with a 1401 displacement engine I think that's more for Euro 6 I think isn't it John I don't think I'm expecting a big hike in power but what I was hoping for is that it has the suspension that you've got or similar yeah. to what you've got on your Super Adventure because that is awesome isn't it it's, it, 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 it's, it's super. it's far but just certainly yeah. uh, it's so much different than the previous side of 219, 1290, and getting from that to this, thoroughly enjoyed it and bought exactly the same bike again, principally to get the, the warranty and just to, to carry me through until the 1401, if that's what it's going to be. And, and that's a consideration today, you know, if there's nothing that jumps out at me over the next few weeks today, I, I might just end up keeping the GT for another six months. Yeah. You know, but, but I suspect, I was looking at the price of the new KTM 990 Duke, not the R. Yeah. As you know, I've got the 890 Duke car, or will have till Saturday when I sell it. Which That's is like the supermotor we want, isn't it? No, no, it's just the it's just the Duke. Okay. No, the the new supermotor one they brought. They just brought the single cylinder one that we'll see today. This right, the okay. six nine eight, whatever it's called. That'll be great. That's got the fastest revving production single cylinder engine ever produced. Well, that's a mouthful. But you know, yeah. <laughs> but as she said, but the actual. Um, do I wait for the GT? I don't know. I really don't know, but I've got options anyway. I think we need to find out exactly when the GT is coming out because I think yeah. you'll, whatever you get, and then you, you go and ride the GT, and you, knowing you, you'll say, oh, I should have got the GT. And yeah, then but, you'll try and get out of the deal, I and know. it'll cost you a load more. Sorry, I, yeah, and also train of thought. Sorry, sorry, John, I cut across you, but what I was going to say was the, the 990 Duke, are, Duke has just come out, and it's priced at five quid, just shy of £13,000. Wow. Now that's for a 990 Duke. Now I've I had the 890 Duke R, which was the, the pinnacle of the Duke range. So the, the 8, 990 Duke R is going to come in at 14, 14 and a half grand maybe, something okay. like that. Yeah. So how much is the new GT going to be? You know, I paid 14 and a half, getting on for 15 new three years ago. I can see that bike coming in at 18 grand plus new, potentially, yeah. just with inflation and the way the car bikes are going up. So maybe. You know, I'm looking at the G, you know, the Gen 3. I might end up paying 18 grand, 
which is getting close to the price of a sort of one year old, 18 month old Ducati V4S. Yeah. Shorter, so listen, anyway, well, I'm looking forward to having a good day, aren't we, John? And, uh, and what we'll do, we'll, we'll have a little chat. Two years, so it's it's good to get back down I there and see you, what's going on. Yeah, I'm we went last you, time yeah, together. Yeah. yeah. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Looking forward to it. Not looking forward to the M6. No. Uh, although we were going to go Friday, but we decided to come today Thursday just to avoid the the car park. So thanks for watching. Join us in a second where we'll just share with you some of the bikes that we're looking at throughout the day, and we'll catch up with you at the end of the video for a bit of a roundup. See, see you guys. See you guys. Speak to you soon. Here we are. First stall going straight over to Ducati. So he's now deciding whether he's going to buy. This is the one he's really liking the look of. And he's deciding, is this him? Here we go, bigger screen. The metal panniers. Hmm. We have, we have a choice to make here, me thinks again he's now confused again he doesn't know what he's going to go for this is the diavel absolutely gorgeous to ride these this is the new v4 i've had to go over v2 and it was absolutely superb you wouldn't think it would handle so well wouldn't ride so well but yeah i'm sorry but that is just bike porn absolute gorgeous polished alloy chrome carbon absolutely gorgeous so here's john getting on the uh Norton V4S. Oh, you look the part, John. You look, all you need is a helmet now. What did he say? It was one. <laughs> <laughs> but just look at that. The finish on it's it's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. What's this, eh? That suspension, is it? Suspension set. Absolutely gorgeous piece of kit. Right, so it's the GT, so this is my current bike and we've just been talking to the uh, the guy on the stand and he's literally just told me that it's going to be at least 12 months before the 1401 comes out um, with the new the new engine. He did say that within a week it's going to be an announcement on this Super Duke car with the 1401 engine but that's not going to come through to either this, the GT or the Super Adventure at least until the back end of 2024 and at the earliest will be the 2025 bike, so. Let's go have a look at some other bikes, some ace bikes here. We've looked at the Ducati so far. We're gonna go over to Kawasaki. Uh, but loads to do, loads of bikes to see, and we'll catch you later. So yet again, he can't make his mind up here. We're now on the, uh, the H2SX touring bike. Looks really good. Yeah, I've gotta go and take a photo. I want to take a, take a photo. It's the BMW S1000XR TE. So this could be, and maybe should be, a contender. What's all down, all down to the ride, isn't it? You know, it's all about the ride. Ergonomically, it's quite nice, isn't it? Yes, it fits well. I like the tank shape with the with your knees underneath. It's, it pushes you forward, doesn't yeah. it? I don't know whether this has been adjusted that way. But no, I was the same. You, you, you can't get. In. And I'm not, you know, I'm not, you're not going to go backwards and forwards. So this is with all the baggage on it as well. So what's, what's this, 20, 22, so here we are. This is the um, S1000 XR. 210 horsepower, John, I think. Are we on adjustable suspension? It's got all, oh, everything's adjusting. It's got the winglets on it. New bike. This is the new off-roader from Suzuki. It goes up hills, down dales, really good off-roader. Put big knobblies on it. Very, very slow bike this is. So I don't know whether he's going to go for it. It's a, uh, that's, that's not bad off-road, mate. I think, I think, I think with some knobblies on this, you'd be, you'd be, you'd be cracking. You'd be away. Looks good though, looks good. Over and out. So here we are on top of the bar bus. Going to Kawasaki next. We've done Ducati, we've done KTM. And we've done Guinness. And we're doing, nice no, Guinness. We're doing Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> here we are on top of the bus. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm at the Custom Fit Guard stand at the NEC Bike Show. I've been using their product for about three, four years now, and they are awesome, awesome. Custom fit by name and by design. I'm just going to introduce you now to the manager. It's me. And it's me. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it. So here we go. Hi guys. Well, I'm here with Steve at the NEC on the, I want to say the fifth or the sixth day. So that's why I look like this. Talking about earplugs all day and all week. Um, but yeah, basically we manufacture all in-house our own custom-made hearing protection and earphones and earplugs just for you. So obviously we're here at the Motorcycle Live this year. That's where we'll show all our motorcycle products cut lovely and flush in the ear. And um, Steve's had his for quite a long time. Now lost his unfortunately, but he had a new set as well. Um, and he's got the earphone versions where he'll be plugging into Scala or an intercom system, mobile phone system, and you can hear literally speaks in your ear. Um, there's loads of benefits, obviously comfort, eye isolation of sound being protected at the same time as well as actually being able to have road awareness but we do a range of products so if you ever look online we have a UK home service we come directly to your door um, to get you fitted we do that every every month pretty much bar December and um, all year and we'll come directly to your home if you have a place in order you can come and see us or you can come to a show and we'll love to see you so we're doing a very narrow looking bike which is this is the FTR Indian another one he's taking off road Interesting looking thing. Styling Yeah, definitely all down to style. Don't necessarily like the back end with the um, the tubular steel thing, but uh, hey, it's different. It's supposed to be pretty pretty cool to ride. I think he's having a test drive. Young Steve's having a, a test drive tomorrow to see what it's all about. But yeah, interesting looking bike. So we're definitely wondering what the hell's going on here with this light really unsure about it this is the 990 super duke i think it is really uh, really impressive looking thing but well weird on the old front I'm gonna get caked in flies me thinks rs street triple really lovely bike well built olin's on the back shower on the front this is the rs spec coming in at 13 3 13 4 this just felt absolutely lovely it setting on it nicely scalloped here to get your knees under this is actually a, uh, an alternative to my current 890 Duke car but I think very very much uh, better built yeah very nice bike can't see us oh well, there we are we're in we're in the car we've just had the day at the nec bike show long day it's uh it's dark 20 to 5 um yeah what do you think john uh 
I personally enjoyed it. Um, we visited all the stands and was able to go and sit on the bikes that we were looking at. Um, still, with any of this, certainly with the prices now of bikes, the only real way you can tell whether you you you, you wanted to buy is by riding it. So time will tell. Uh, we're looking at trying to get a, a Ducati ride tomorrow. Whether that happens, we'll wait. We're going to find out. Um, but yeah, bought myself a new helmet. Got my um, new mould for my ear plugs. They've done a cracking job at upgrading me. This is CFG. They've done a, an upgrade on the latest version because one of the plugs have gone a little bit faulty. Repair to the plug is a tenner, so he's going to do the repair anyway, and he's he's done a, an upgrade um, where I'm paying under a hundred quid for an upgrade. So very happy with what he's doing. Um, I think regarding the actual event, I, I, you know, I was surprised with the amount of bikes that are over twenty thousand pound nowadays. Yeah, yeah, you know, we were looking at. Ducati Multistradas, the XR BMW, we were looking at the Kawasaki H2SX, which was like 28 grand. We looked at, oh, every every major brand seemed to have a bike easily over 25, 26 I, I don't see how pounds. you can justify a Kawasaki that price, especially after a year, it's now under under 20, so I, it just I know, I know. But dies it was, down so much. But it was good, I think there was a lot of people there, so you don't really get a lot of time on the bikes chatting to people, but. At least we sat on a few. Some exotics were good. Um, but yeah, typically it was a good day. Was Look, a good looked day. at it. Look, that, that Norton, fifty-two grand. Wow. Oh yeah, that was nice. The V4. Some lovely exotica there. That's yeah, for sure. Yeah. Was that was that the one with the the, the Wankel engine? It was the six hundred cc Wankel engine. So God yeah. knows what that's pushing out, but yeah. uh, it's got to be something to make it that sort of number. I think what the bikes are sat on. The one that I felt actually most comfortable on was the XR, the BMW S one thousand XR. It didn't. It felt halfway between the GT and the adventure bikes, you know, like the KTM's and the Ducatis. So, so, but then I looked at the price and it was twenty-seven grand, and it didn't have all the toys on. It didn't have the radar that the KTM's got and the Ducatis got. Um, so that was that was strange. The other thing that I found out is that the the actual KTM twelve ninety GT, the fourteen hundred engine, won't be out at least for a year from now. So that pretty much, as far as I'm concerned, takes that option off the table. So if I'm going to change my bike in the next few months, it's, it basically means that I'll be moving away from the KTM brand. Um, so I've, I, tomorrow I've got the test ride of the Indian FTR 1200 Sport. That's tomorrow. And I've also got, uh, hopefully, a test ride of the H2 SX SE. But that, I think that'll be discounting it after the test ride. But uh, I'm hopefully get a test ride on that tomorrow. Well, you and never know. The test ride might just say, "Hey, yeah, look at me! I'm yeah. brilliant. Buy me." I tell you, what was it nice to sit on? It was the Hayabusa, that orange one, yeah. the 25th edition. And it's not a massive money compared to what it does. It's what, under 200 a, year, a month. Well, on, I think on, that on was the one that we were, we were going to. You can get an off-road version now, can't you? With big chunky tires. <laughs> you know? Yeah, 190 brake horsepower off-road <laughs> Hayabusa. But that was that, that was nice. It, it felt nice sat on that. But that's very similar to the Kawasaki. But yeah, so uh, we went and um, had a chat. You'll see on the video, if you haven't already seen it, uh, on, on this video, the little update from the manager from Custom Fit Guards. And if anyone's interested in getting them, you'll see on the uh, comments below, on the description below, we've uh, been able to get a 10% discount using the code SHERLOCK10. So if you are interested, get yourself a discount. There's some great products there. I've had them for three years or so. John, you've had them four or five years, haven't you? Yeah, and I've they're they're pretty good of any you're not supposed to take them off by pulling the wire uh, and I yeah. <laughs> I decided a good, it was a good idea for me and I pulled the wire out that was the end yeah. of that but they repaired it 20 quid later uh, and now I'm getting an upgrade to the latest whatever they are um, so I'm quite pleased with what's gone on there but yeah good day I, I tell you what was good watching the um, the live demo on the oh, yeah. BMW the GS yeah, stand yeah, very slick I'll, you'll see the video I'll put a few minutes of that just to give you some of the highlights that was really impressive the, the riders see. in such a so short space were spinning up stopping and you think they're going to go and fall off or they're going to hit and they don't and they are exceptional riders yeah, the way they throw those bikes yeah. around it puts us all to shame it is um, and, and, and they make the, the GS look I think a far better bike than it is. It is it, really. They made it dance. That's oh, what, yeah, they absolutely yeah. made the bike dance. Yeah. 
so really good to watch so anyway so we'll finish the video there thanks for watching um i will post a few videos with these test rides that we're going to do john and i are both doing the ducati one so we'll do a, a joint one on that um if you like this format give us a shout john and i think are maybe doing a few more together uh but thanks for watching uh if you haven't already done so like and subscribe to the channel and uh, follow my uh, journey of deciding what bike i'm going to be going for next thanks guys have a good trip see you bye, -bye.